Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so this week I am still working on my freezer. I know I sound like a broken record, but we have a lot of food to get through. So in my freezer, I have this box of sweet and spicy shrimp. I picked it up a while ago from Costco and you get two little kits inside. So you get two um, packets of shrimp and two packets of the sweet and spicy sauce. So I just prepared the um, shrimp according to the package directions for the oven. I did not put these in the air fryer. And then um, I am also using some Flavor Up from Campbell's. It's a savory mushroom and herb. Um, it's kind of like a bouillon. It's like a cooking concentrate. So I use that on my fresh baby broccoli. So I've got the baby broccoli on the side, serving the shrimp over a bed of white rice. And this is a quick, delicious, savory and simple meal. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Mississippi pork roast. Now I have made Mississippi pot roast many, many times on our channel with either chicken or pork or beef. Today I use some um, country style ribs that I had in my freezer and I will link a video showing how I make it in the description box if you want to check it out but I am serving the roast over some rice and also some green beans. And here is the rest of the roast in the crock pot. It is so good if you have never tried Mississippi pot roast. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, Howard grilled some boneless, skinless chicken breast that we had in our freezer and so this is Howard's plate and the marinade that I used on his chicken is this spicy Korean barbecue chicken. And then this is my plate and I used a dry seasoning, this barbecue rub, growling green Thai inspired by lemongrass, bright and tangy. I got this from Kroger. It's been a while ago. It was on clearance and you all know how much we love Asian flavors. We've got some leftover green beans. And then for the macaroni and cheese, we are using this macaroni from uh, Riceroni. They now have a macaroni line. They have cheddar and they have white cheddar. So I made the creamy, just the regular cheddar today. And it's pretty good. I do think I still prefer Kraft for my macaroni and cheese for like a box macaroni and cheese, but it's not bad at all. Howard really likes um, the macaroni. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so dinner kind of snuck up on me tonight. Thankfully, I had these Italian sausage ravioli in the fridge. I picked them up from Aldi, I don't know, maybe a week or so ago I had to run in there and I happened to see these. Um, so I just prepared them according to package directions. And then I added just a little bit of marinara right on top along with some um, grated Parmesan cheese. And I am serving it with um, breadsticks and also some salad. So these are the breadsticks that I'm using. They're from Walmart and we like them. They're pretty good. I pop them in the air fryer. And then the salad dressing we're gonna use is also from Walmart, the restaurant style kind of knockoff of the Olive Garden salad dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Grandy's. Grandy's is a, like a home cooking fast food restaurant. I know they have them in Texas and Oklahoma, not sure where else they have them. They don't have as many as they used to when I was growing up, but they do have one near us. So. For dinner tonight, Howard got a two-piece um, dark meat meal. He got two thighs. It comes with a yeast roll. He got mashed potatoes and brown gravy, and he got their macaroni and cheese, which doesn't look that great. I've never had their macaroni and cheese. He hasn't either, so I don't know how that tastes. And then I got a two-piece dark. I got a leg and a thigh, yeast roll, 
buttered corn and mashed potatoes and gravy. I know a lot of you have asked about Harrison and what he eats. He does not eat this at all. So he has his own food that he prefers to eat. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.